Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice effect, so let's start. Okay, as you can see here, we have a picture of a bear. So this picture's link is gonna be in the description below, you can download it anytime. So let's click on it and decrease the opacity. Okay, and now let's go to the layers and lock the layer and create a new layer where we're gonna trace on it. And let's get the pen tool and put the fill on black. And let's start tracing on layer 2. Let's zoom in. And let's try, start tracing the nose. It doesn't have to be precise, so just do it fast. And now let's do this mouth. And add some hair strands on the bottom. Just random hair strands, you don't have to be very precise. And connect them. And now let's decrease the opacity of this. Put it on about 41% or 56 so we can see the teeth. And let's draw the teeth. And draw a big one on the right. And after you finish the big one, copy it and reflect it, reflect it vertically and place it here and rotate it till it be a bit parallel to the one on the right and then and select everything and copy it and rotate it, make it parallel, visually parallel. So this looks good. And now let's continue the mouth. And then after you finish this, copy it and reflect it again and place it on the right. And now put the opacity back to 100 and let's do the eyes. Make the eyes connect to the mouth and to the nose. And let's continue the ears and the upper head and add some strings of hair from now and then add a small one there and small one and a big one there and as you can see I'm adding a small hairs and long hairs I didn't do any notes or anything it's just experimenting so you can see I'm adding a small one here and a big one there and I'm just connecting them together on the other side, the same thing, a small hair and a long hair. And just connect it together. And here you go. And some small hairs here. And on the left as well, let's continue the same method. Create some hair. Make them bigger and bigger, then smaller. As you can see, I'm just experimenting. I don't have any sketches or notes, so don't feel scared to actually keep experimenting with the hair until it looks nice. And fix any mistakes you have. Zoom in and just with a direct selection tool, just tweak it. And now let's create the background or the base color. So we need something behind the ink. As you can see here, I'm just drawing a big shape behind the ink because I need to color it with a base color. Okay, I'm gonna add three colors now. First, I'm gonna color this white just for now. I'm gonna add a new layer and place it behind the ink and I'm gonna control shift V to paste in place. And I added three colors, a bright color, a base color, and a dark color. They're all gotten from the bear. So let's remove the picture and place the colors in the layer of the picture and select this middle layer where the white background is and color it with the base color. And now we need some shadows and some lights with these colors I have. 
So let's select the middle layer, which is the base layer, and add a new layer and name it Light, and add a new layer and name it Shadows. Make sure both of them are under the ink. Okay, so now let's select the shadow and with the eyedropper take the dark color because it's the shadow and get the pen tool and now let's start creating the shadows. Let's lock the ink layer so it would be easier when drawing the shadows. As you can see, I'm putting it in front of the ink and I'm adding random details, big and small, and close it. Keep experimenting. And close it. And here you go. So now we need to add the lights. So with the eyedropper, select the light color. Maybe make it a little bit lighter. And let's continue. Let's go to the light layer and create some light. One here on the next eye and add also some hair the more you add hair the more it will have details so try with the shadow and the light to add small and long strands of hair to make it more kind of realistic but kind of looks more like a bear Let's zoom in on the eyes and make it slightly bigger. Because I think I'm gonna add some red eyes inside. And fix the light when you're done with it. So it will match where the eye is going, the detail of the eye. Create a new layer and name it Eyes. Let's color it red, a little bit dark red. And lock all the layers and let's create it. When you're done creating it, make sure you put it on top of the ink layer so it will show. And create the other eye. Okay, so now we're kind of done. First, let's name the layers. I'm gonna name the ink layer ink and the base color background. And this one colors so we don't get confused. Okay. So now let's get the text and add some text. I'm gonna put bears. I use this font. Make sure you put this font. And go to object, expand. Okay. 
and then go to object path offset path and put it on 22 okay okay now right click on it and ungroup and now select the ones in front and with the eyedropper select the white color them white and then select the ones on the back and arrange put back and then object path offset path and add 15 again and with the eyedropper select the red in the eyes and then select them only the red and right click arrange back okay so now let's select all of them and cut it and add a new layer and place it underneath colors and let's name it text and Control shift v to paste in place and then select everything and group it Control g or right click and group okay so select everything now go to effects wrap arc lower and put it on minus 12 percent bend and the vertical down in distortion put it on 12 percent and press ok And now place it underneath the bear and enlarge it. Okay, and now select the ink, only the outward ones, these, and go to object, path, offset path, and put it on 20. Okay, and now select them and color them the same color of the eyes, the red color. And then cut it and control shift V in the text layer and they will be behind everything okay so now what we have to do is we have to fix this bottom part we need to make it more connected so let's start with this red with the direct selection tool just pull them behind the ink pull them all up these red here with the direct selection tool zoom in and start Pulling them all and pull these as well and let's connect this black to another I think it will look better if we connect it and let's shrink these hair strands to make them appear and make these longer and these longer and this one longer as well and fix this and I think we should create some hair strands here I think it will make it look better and on the left as well create some hair strands This looks nice. So now let's create a big square behind everything. Right click, arrange, and send to back. And now let's color it a very dark color, dark brown. Place it properly. And let's create some shadows on the bears. So select all the white letters, go to object, and path, offset path, and put it on minus five, okay. And now let's color them gray and now create a rectangle and let's give it the wrap effect we gave before effect wrap arc lower and put it on minus 12 and 12 and then place it properly go to object expand appearance and select it shift select all the bears with the gray only and get the shape builder tool hold alt to get the minus sign and remove the ones on top and here you have this so what else maybe let's make this a little bit darker and let's zoom in on this i think we should connect those it will look even better and connect this one as well and 
I think this looks fine. And here maybe we should pull it upward. It will give more shape for the ear. And pull this one a little bit upward. I think this looks perfect. I think that's it. 